Hi, good evening. This is a Henry AK remote uh, amplifier you're looking at. You're looking at the remote head. This here remote head, uh, all it does is control the RF deck and the power supply that can be uh, remote 100 feet away. Okay, so give you a reference over here. Uh, there's a Mark 5 radio, and uh, this here is the uh, Henry remote head. It's pretty large. It's large as most regular amplifiers, but it doesn't have any RF or power supply in there. The actual RF deck and power supply is about the size of a dishwasher or a uh, small refrigerator. Maybe a little bit bigger than a small refrigerator. It weighs about 350 pounds, and uh, and that's where the uh, that's where the power is developed. Over here, you have uh, your tune and load knobs. So if you have this switch set in manual, you, these two dials are using for tuning and loading the amp like any amplifier, except everything's being done remotely. Uh, through a cable and, and this is turning servo motors in the amplifier the RF deck. Here you have a standby switch. Uh, it's either the relays are engaged or on standby that was installed after the factory. Of course you get the power switch, your sideband which is a higher plate voltage, 6,000 volts, CW voltage, uh, CW switch which is 4,500 volts, Henry amplifier, Henry radio says just leave it in the sideband switch. You don't need to use the CW switch. If you want less power just turn down the drive. Uh, here you have the band switch. You can basically cover all frequencies from uh, 30 megahertz to 1.8, everything in between. And uh, you set it to the closest band that you want to go to. And there's one thing with the Henry amp, if you want to change bands, you have, to, you have to shut down the amplifier, power it down, come back, change the band switch, then you power it back up. Uh, there's no heat up time with this tube, it's a 3CX 3000A7. Instant on, you're ready to go, so it's not like you have to wait three minutes. Uh, so uh, over here we have a we have a, a the plate meter, and the plate current on the Henry, uh, the transformers are rate rated for one amp continuous or two amps intermittent. It's a two amp scale. Uh, the plate voltage here we're reading it's on a multimeter. It's reading six. That's six thousand volts on the plate right now, and this is the grid current. Uh, the grid has zero because the amplifier is not engaged. And uh, there's a 6,000 volts for the plate, and uh, that's the filament voltage. The filament voltage on the 3CX3000A7 should be about 7.5 volts. This one's actually reading 7.7. .7. Uh, it's, within, it's within tolerances of the uh, manufacturer iMac. Uh, again, this here is the uh, remote unit where you can set all the different frequencies. You've got a little lock switching in here. You can lock it once you dial it in. You tune it, and, uh, and 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 that's how you set the Henry up. Over here is a Palstar, uh, not a Palstar, Power Master, uh, 10k meter, and uh, we're just gonna test it right now with the with the amplifier here in standby. Okay, I pre-tuned it. It's running into a dummy load, but I can't test it for too long because the dummy load is really not rated for this here. So. Uh, because I do have it tuned up to show you what the Henry AK can do. So uh, first we're going to give it some drive and I'm pulsing it right now. That's being pulsed with 105 watts of power. I'm going to put the Henry amplifier on. We just we threw the switch here right over here. We're, there we go. With that switch on. And I'm going to come over here. And this is with 100 watts drive. Okay. And there you go. You see it's about 2300 watts of power. So then we're going to uh, shut the switch off put the amp in standby and actually I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, I'm going to tune my drive power up and I'm going to turn it up to about 400 watts of power that's going into the Henry okay so that's what we're going to have going into the Henry I'm going to engage the amplifier here I put this I put the switch up and uh, we're going to pulse it now this is being pulsed by an audio pulser on the radio so it's not a key down, it's, it's just being pulsed, all right? So we're going to pulse it up pretty quick because it is going into a dummy load, okay? So here we go. And there you go. You see that? That was, you can see how much power that's delivering. I'm going to come over here and show you on a coaxial dynamic peak reading watt meter. And uh, you can see this is it's going down from when I have it pulsed. This here is a, 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 let's see if I can get that right. This is the 10K slug in here. Coax Dynamics 10,000 watt slug. So that means that, you know, here's 2,000, uh, 4,000, uh, 6, 8, 
10,000 watts at the top of the scale. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to back away just a here. And what I'm going to do is, is pulse up the amp. And uh, we'll see what type of output it does get. Again, it's going into a dummy load. And here we go. Let's see if we can get this angled right so you can read the, read the dial. Having a hard time with the light. Okay, that's about, about as good as I'm going to get, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, maybe that's a little better. Here we go. There you go. Like I said, I'm running it into a, a, a 5 kilowatt dummy load, and I'll, I'll pulse it back up for you here. This should show you the type of output the amplifiers can do. And the PEP, this is PEP, ready? There you go. Now I'll pulse it up to about 9,000. Uh, over 8,000 watts of power being pulsed, and that's about 400 watts of drive. I've heard people drive them hotter, but uh, not that I would recommend it. And nor do I advocate, uh, nor do I advocate running any uh, any uh, excessive power. Uh, uh, no, that's not what I would say. You'd have the amp bars to run excessive power. I'm not an advocate of running more than uh, the legal limit, uh, but. If you're like some of us who just have to have the absolutely best, and when you see it, you just have to have it, and uh, this Henry AK, as far as I'm concerned, is the best amplifier ever made. It's big, it's heavy duty, no, it's not automatically tuned, no, it doesn't have a lot of safety features built in, it won't trip out if you mistune, it, it, you have to watch what you're doing, you gotta be careful, but if you're looking for the best and the biggest, and something that's going to last and last and last, uh, and you have to have the best, this is it. So uh, I hope you like the demonstration. Again, this was not to uh, advocate using high power. I don't, and I won't advocate it. So I hope you enjoyed the, the video, and uh, I hope it enlightens you a little bit as to some of the great amplifiers that had been made by Henry Radio.